Boom! <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing? I forgot to plug my iPad in here. Let's see if it pops up. I hope it does. Uh, up, up, there it is. Hey, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. <laughs> and welcome. Welcome to Fight Night. What are we doing over Fright Night? Fight Night. <laughs> well, you know, I realized that uh, I want to do more just drawing and less teaching per se. So uh, in these evenings, especially on uh, tonight being uh, Tuesdays, uh, I'm going to give myself a concept, an idea, and then I'm going to execute it. And if you have any questions, I'm not going to really slow down. I'm just going to draw. And if you have any questions as I'm going along, just shout them out in the uh, text, in the um, chat. I'll be happy to answer them for you. So we have this idea tonight that I'm going to draw. Um, I thought it would be funny to have a... Um, a battle. What would a battle be between a banana and a lobster in a rink, right? What would that look like? So that's what I'm going to attempt to draw for you. Let me go ahead and um, do this. Okay, we're good there. All right, so let's jump right into this and uh, let's see how we do, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to start right here. All right. So, like I said, if you have any any questions as I am uh, doing this, just uh, shout out in the text. We'll see how we do, how we go. All right, Teresa's from Oz. I wonder where Oz is. <laughs> All right, first thing I'm going to draw is kind of map out this lobster character guy, right? All right, I might have to get an assistant to figure out uh, to watch the questions, but we'll see how we'll we'll see how it does. Oh, Australia! Oh, the land land down under. Excellent. Uh, Would the lobster slip? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see how we do here. All right, so we're going to have what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to have two like these are going to be two boxers. All right. So, well, this is going to be my lobster character right here. It's like the the bully, right? All right, there's Sandy. I got the whole gang here, right? All right, let's see here now. Yeah, I, usually when we're when we're drawing, we're kind of limited by time. So we'll I'll see how we uh, how we end up doing with uh, time here, right? It's kind of a Kind of a creature. It's like a lobster. It is a lobster. Wait, wait till I get done with him, okay? All right. Then he's gonna, we're gonna put his shoulders up high here. All right. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Got a pair of shorts on down here. I bet you never thought of uh, lobsters having a pair of boxing shorts, right? We used to have this, there used to be this uh, boxer here in the States. His name was. I think he was from Mexico. His name was Camacho Macho. Camacho, I think it was Camacho Macho. And uh, man, he I just remember him as a little kid. Man, he would have like the uh, most craziest shorts with tassels and everything. All right, so let's see here. Now this guy's gonna have his, we'll make him a little bit smaller. 
Oops. Don't want that. There it goes. Yep. All right, look at that in there. All right. Got to get these really menacing claws here, right? everyone's having a good evening right right get that had dinner already and all that good stuff this guy is ready for battle Oops, don't like that line. Look at this, I'm kind of using surface lines here, you see that? All right, let's get these, uh, he's got these extra legs. These will definitely give them stability in the ring, right? All right, let's change this. Uh, I got this great compressed charcoal. I, I like this. So let's see. I found this great. It's a, it's another, Oh, that's too big. Some of these uh, tools in Procreate are a lot of fun. Try different things. They have a different uh, look to them. Okay, got him done. Let's let's take him down just a little bit here. Zoom out. Let's see. We'll duplicate that. All right. So he's going to be at one end of the ring here, and I think what we're going to do tonight. What I'm going to do is. We're going to just keep like zooming out and the picture will get bigger and bigger as we go along. So in the uh, foreground, let me I know what I have to do. I have to put this uh, He 
He's going to have this really scared look. He does not want to be in this ring. We were, I was thinking, <clears throat> what would it be like to have like a, a, a world wrestling league where just things would battle, e where things would just battle each other? <laughs> Strange objects, you know? All right, so he's going to come down here. This is the, the top of the stem. Okay. All right, let's get some. I was thinking when I was drawing this, thinking through this idea, I thought, you know, a banana bruise is really easy. <laughs> so let's, let's add a, let's say he's already gotten a black eye. I think this uh, banana got in the wrong, wrong place, right? All right, let's see here. All right, let's see now. Let's uh, let's zoom out a little bit more. Get a uh, rink here. Yep, yeah, he's this guy's trying to get out of the rink.
I'm going to add a little tone behind this lobster character to hopefully make him pop off just a bit. Okay, let's copy that too. All right, now I'm going <clears> to <throat> draw a stadium around this. So let's see here. Oops. Kurt, let's see, with practice, can one eventually draw from their own? Yes. Uh, absolutely, Teresa. Uh, no, you could do it. Um, you just, you know, it's like, I, I think of like drawing from your imagination is like um, learning. Uh, you have to learn the language. You have to learn the language of drawing. And that just takes time. But um, even even something like this, you know, um, I started I started this picture this particular picture uh, earlier today, and I did I did a couple doodles to try and get an idea of what um, what I was going to do. So even drawing from your imagination, I I think that. Uh, You kind of just sketch and then doodle, and then you develop your uh, things come to life a little bit. So um, you know, I, I used reference to get an idea of what the uh, lobster was going to look like, and then um, you know, I looked at the banana just to make sure. But then you know, from there, it's just using your your memory of these different things. Uh, Sandy says, "What size are you drawing?" Well. Sandy, this, let me, um, I could bring that up. Let me show you. Um, let's see here. I think it is right canvas size. Crop and resize, nope, uh, settings. 
Okay, so Sandy, this is going to be 75 inches by 41 inches at 72 DPI. So being at 72 DPI, I really can't print this thing. It's too low res, but for on the uh, for the drawing tablet, it works just fine. So right now, look, I have I've got white all over. So let's let's really um, knock this audience back and just make sure that our uh, stage is lit up. This will draw our this will draw your eye right into that. Uh, oh, you know what I meant to do? I want to put this on a different layer. There. I'll show you why in just a second. So I love I love the look of that. Uh, I love the look of that uh, charcoal pencil. And then we'll let's darken this in a little bit so that these little like openings. You know, that, that's kind of going out to where you could go get your your popcorn and your whatever treats you're going to eat, right? All right, that's going to be my billboard. And then let's come in here and darken up some of these things in the foreground here. And then the last thing I want to do That'll work. I want to erase some of this so it looks like you've got these spotlights. You see? Highlight our boxers. And I think I'm going to just. Okay, I think we're gonna end right there. I know it was quick, but uh, yeah, there it is. There's my little uh, lobsters versus uh, banana. And you can see that I just took it and shrunk it down. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you like and follow the, uh, uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. And if you're looking to join the Daily Draw, Daily Draw is a, uh, um, daily get together we do uh, I teach you how to draw and uh, you can't you can't beat it I will put a link in the description uh, so check that out my name is Kurt thanks for tuning in tonight everybody I will see you tomorrow okay bye bye